Hey, it's James and Deanna, and this is part three of the electric van build. Now we're timing how long it's gonna take for us to put this kit together. And because we're DIYers, normally we like to custom make everything ourselves. But for us to make something this precise and high quality, it would take us weeks, if not longer. All we do is just screw together the pieces with the battens we put on last night. And to sort the pieces yesterday and put on the battens, it took about two to three hours. Now, as we're starting to put the pieces together, we're really flying through this thing. At this point, to get the kitchen area and the bench done, it's only been about a half hour. Now, we still have to add some cabinet doors and hinges, but it's so cool to see how it's all coming together where the fridge, the sink's gonna go. But let's start working on the bed. Now on the bed pieces here, you can see how it's so precisely cut out for the van, which is very difficult to do because there's no straight angles in the van. It's all bumps and curves. But these precise cuts allow the kit to be installed into the van with no screws going into the van itself. Here are the last few pieces and it only took us a drill and an hour and 25 minutes to put this whole thing together. I'll give you a whole tour of it on my stories and save it to my highlight reel. But before you move it inside and plan all the details for the design, which one would you use for the ceiling? The black wood, natural wood, or white wood? Like and follow.